going on YouTube? Uh, back with uh, 2015 stash. I didn't think uh, really that many people care, but uh, apparently some people want the video. So uh, here we go. Um, I'll just get right into it. Nine shot uh, fluorescent rack. Uh, the best finale that, in my opinion, that we've ever done was a mixture of this, the pandemonium, uh, red flash reactor, the bomb and uh, Cirque the Pyrotechnique all from Phantom so I think I'm going to try to emulate that this year and mix it in with uh, a couple other things to, uh, to bump it up. So again most of this is all Phantom product um, some stuff mixed in from Big Fireworks which I'll, I'll clarify what's what. Uh, staying with the, the tube section you know single shot 500 gram tubes left of purple, red wave, blah 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 sea blue is a nice one um, all just one shot, nothing incredible, but uh, nice enough for what they are um, to get the crowd going. And then a couple 200, uh, I'm sorry, number 300 tubes that got thrown in. Um, they literally gave me five of the same one, which was a little uh, unnecessary. I would have preferred some variety, but so be it. Fountains, again, I'm not a huge fountain fan, but uh, these six look uh, particularly entertaining. Dark Science was is not a phantom product, but um, oh, I'm sorry, that's a big product, or they had it at big, it's a Brothers brand. Cool little fountain, the, the egg style thing in the middle spins uh, incredibly flat, fast, shoots out trails of sparks and has a loud whistle to it. The pumpkin fountain is also from big, um, pretty obvious what it's going to do, just like a jack-o-lantern, it'll light up and flash in the middle, tons of sparks. Apache Fire Dance Premier uh, is a newer fountain from Phantom that's um, the small Apache Fire Dance is cool, so a 500 gram version should be cool. Rock around the clock, awesome. Loud, loud, loud whistles, and just a cool fountain in general. Never lit off my War Drums 500 gram fountain from last year. We'll see what that does. Sounds incredibly loud. And Coral Reef should just be nice and colorful, I would think, um, unless that's uh, flagrant false advertising uh, due to the name. The Roman Candles, the pile gets smaller each year. Um, you know, nobody seems to really want to light them anymore, but some people find them fun, so throw in a couple random milk, uh, random packages, some leftover Roman candles from a couple years back, and if I'm going to grab any, I'm going to grab the American military candles, which are uh, high-powered. The guy who is actually recording right now uh, tended to think very lowly of Roman candles until he lit a military candle off and it fired out of his hand uh, due to the pressure. So. Reloadables, if uh, I had my call, none of these would be here except maybe one package. Um, the stuff that goes wrong every year is 90% reloadables. And they just, uh, you know, one bang in the sky really doesn't do a whole lot for me. Aside from the tubes are cool, but it gets boring lighting mortar after mortar. So I don't know what half these are. All these, I think, except for the dual layer canister shells, which I don't know if they're new or not from Phantom this year. Um, this is the one I did put in the cart, and I don't know how it's going to be. The video looks cool, and for 12 reloadables in here, it is a heavy, heavy box. Uh, when I picked it up, I wasn't expecting the weight that it has. MIA, I don't know what that is. These are leftover Sweet 16s from a couple years ago. I guess uh, half the stuff will probably be left over again, as usual. Uh, that was Excalibur or something. Red, white, and blue, Shell Show, that was a freebie. Sky Fest is a freebie from a couple of years back, as is this TNT thing. Um, actually, that was from something else that I bought. Cherry Bomb, I did kind of want to try that in the past. They gave that to me for free, so I didn't intentionally pick it up, but it's here, so we'll see if it was worth any kind of interest. Sky Lanterns down here are left over. We set a couple off last year. Uh, nice and against a nice backdrop, so those should look pretty cool. This is the pile of, uh, or the box of incidental nonsense. It's confetti cannon. I don't know what possessed me to buy that, but, uh, you know, call it a very silly impulse buy. Magic crystals, leftover, um, loud, uh, quite cool for what they are. They're very cheap. Uh, I think it's like 12 bucks, so uh, six, six fifty or six, I don't know, 12 or 13 bucks, so six dollars or six fifty. When you do the buy one get one at Phantom or 50% off. Not incredible, not going to blow anybody away, but a nice little thing. Apparently I've forgotten through the years how many parachutes I have because there's parachutes up the ass in this box. Um, 
that I just kept buying and kept buying and forgot that they were here. Uh, so we'll light those off. The wheel, again, as I've said in every video, we probably will never get lit off, but we'll keep it here. It'll be like the, uh, the staple of my videos, I guess, that just never goes away. This wheel has been here for the better part of a decade at this point. Uh, it's been long since discontinued. Jumping jacks, leftovers, and a new box, because I forgot I had more. Um, just fun little things. And I don't know what big fireworks threw in. Oh my god, more parachutes. Uh, big fireworks threw in some odd little plane of some kind when I ordered to uh, put in an order. And snakes in the grass, which I've been ordering for two years, not realizing I had. So I'm sitting here. Uh, same deal as any other snakes, except it's five of them at a time coming through. Stupid, but uh, again, just a fun little thing to look at. My backpack, oh smoke. Uh, we're not going to pull all this crap out. I have been compiling smoke through the years, and the only ones worth mentioning, most of this has been, some of them has been discontinued, the phantom colored smoke and whatnot. I still got the mammoth smokes in there, or I'm sorry, that was the can of smoke. The mammoth smokes are down here. In the past, I've mentioned that we've had the 20,000 cubic foot smoke bombs from some self defense website or something like that where I found them on. And since then, so there's three of those in there, since then I have found these, and I don't recall if I got them on the same website, but if those were cool with 20,000 cubic feet, these three will be even cooler with 40,000 cubic feet of smoke. So, we'll see how those are. We'll uh, be sure to light those off after the show, otherwise we won't see a show. The rockets, again, the only time kind I buy are the uh, smiley face rockets. Did light them last year for a ton of years, they never got let off first three of the four that are in here, I couldn't really see uh, Smiley Face that well. By the fourth, I had oriented myself to what I was looking at in the sky and uh, could, could see it quite well. So you can see it, you just might not see it on the first try. Uh, cakes, it's getting a little bit smaller with the uh, smaller 200 uh, cakes, 200 gram cakes this year. Uh, not as many as in the past, but some, some staples, some keepers that are always in here. Uh, Phantasm, up in Smoke is one that, I, I think they had it last year, but this is the first year I'm getting it. It's a daytime firework. It'll shoot uh, it just streams of smoke in the air, and uh, clearly I'm somewhat into smoke. So uh, we'll see how those look. The trail should be kind of cool. Emerald City, people just seem to love. I, you know, it's good for what it is. I like it. Um, it's not the coolest cake out there, but everybody else enjoys it, so we'll mix it up for them. Galactic Glitz, I don't entirely recall what it looks like. Full Auto is a big product. Uh, nice sprinkler Z pattern cake. Eye of the Storm is a new Phantom product. They had a few items this year that were new that were not in the catalog. That is a Phantom brand product. Um, there's no video, but the pictures on the um, on the firework itself look fairly cool, so we'll give it a shot. Fiery Falcons, Molotov, which is, you know, I don't recall entirely what it looks like in the sky. I watched the video again the other night because we get it each year. But the uh, video doesn't look impressive, but sometimes the packaging just uh, does it for me or the name alone. So that's that one. Electric Jellyfish is uh, a newer product, not Phantom. Um, don't know what it does. I don't think there was a video, but it's a pretty friggin' heavy firework. Uh, and, you know, when I picked it up and felt the weight, hopefully something cool comes out of it. Otherwise, it'll be disappointing. Rain of Fire is solid. Willow Among the Palms has massive shots. Silver Sonic is solid. Black Thunder is a big product. Again, uh, looks pretty crazy. In the sky, another emerald. Boston Tea Party, Vapor Trails, Pyro Pixie Dust, Shagadelic Mojo. Um, you know, these are all whatever. Machine Gun Shell is pretty solid. Silver and Gold Exchange is amazing. And Warbirds, as I've said in the past, just has massive bursts. It's, the, I think, the biggest of the 200 gram cakes that they have, or one of the biggest. Uh, Raptor, solid. Solar Explosion, Midnight Monsoon, and Power Play. Which brings us to the, uh, to the 500 grammers. My, fa my father doesn't approve of this video. He's walking, he's walking out of the garage right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, Namco. He's going to Namco. He's going to buy pool supplies. There we go. Uncle is, uh, front screen is also hooked. That is our side of the video. Back to the fireworks. 
Mind Shell Mayhem. It's not going to uh, knock anybody's socks off. Uh, you know, there's no bangs or explosions. It's a nice, small little thing with 10 shots of streaming bright, bright colors. So, you know, maybe we'll impress somebody. I love it. Um, and everybody else seems to enjoy it, but in comparison to some of the other stuff that's over here, it's different style category. Golden Pyro, small, cheap, but I enjoy it. Strobe Spectacular, I've never had before, um, but the video looks okay. I mean, I've watched it in the past and it never convinced me to want to get it, but uh, something about it this year when I watch the video again, so we'll give it a shot. Hydrogen Bomb is a Brothers product. Most of the Brothers stuff that I've tried has been uh, really, really cool through the years. Um, and this one, when I watched the video, actually looks pretty sick. So we'll give that a shot. Wizard of Oz was a, a freebie um, that I got. It's not a freebie that Phantom's offering. I've never tried it, but the girl convinced me that it was good. I don't like the way it looks in the video. She's probably just trying to get me out of the store quicker. Um, as it's getting close to the 4th of July and they're getting busy, she's probably trying to rush me out of there and hand me whatever. But there's enough other stuff, so we'll mix it in. Pulverizer's left over. That's a solid piece. Got a nice uh, grouping of different effects um, and a cool ending. Tropic Thunder, Rain of Fire, solid. Guns of Navarone is a pretty, um, you know, it's only 12 shots, but it's a nice standard firework, I think. I don't know what that, if that makes sense to anybody else, but that'd be my description of it. Mother Load is awesome. Um, every year, everybody loves that one. That's a crowd pleaser. Massive Neon is a big product. Um, that looked cool. The Red Flash, as I said, is going in the finale, as is the bomb. Um, red Flash is a nice one to use to fill in any gaps if you have, uh, if you're trying to take up, uh, do a panoramic and fill up some space there. Red Flash would be awesome, uh, awesome color and awesome filler for the background. Johnny Be Good uh, is another crowd pleaser that just has a very, very cool um, effect in the sky. All the effects are cooled down. King Midas Touch is, I think, left over. Eight second ride. Just... All right, uh, I'm gonna splice this video together because my. Uh, camera just died. I think we we're here. I'll fix everything uh, before this goes to YouTube, maybe. King Midas Touch, leftover. Uh, nothing special, but whatever. Eight second ride. Everything's off in eight seconds. It's cool, uh, especially the first time you see it. Saying almost fire. I don't remember a whole lot about, but I remember it looked cool in the video. We had it last year, or maybe the year before. I don't know. Cirque de Pyro Technique is back. Uh, I couldn't get it last year, it wasn't in the country, but that one's, like I said, definitely going in the in the finale. If Red Flash is a good filler, then Cirque is a good full um, panoramic. Pyro Propulsion, they told me wasn't there, then when I got to the store, it had just got in. I like it. It's kind of expensive for what it is, but um, I think it's nice and colorful and, and entertaining. Popo Magnet is new. I'm really not a fan of a lot of their new stuff that they get in year after year, but that one looks pretty cool. And 36 shots, um, I like it. I tend to find that their multiple shot ones are, are to me, usually more entertaining than uh, you know their nine shots or their 12 shots or whatever the case may be. Supercell Storm I've looked at for years, and the video doesn't quite blow me away, but uh, I think it'll look a lot cooler in person, so we'll give it a try. Big red one, I don't I don't remember. I think that was free, so I don't know what it does. Polar Vortex, same deal. I don't remember. Uh, it's freebie, and I don't remember what the video looked like. Autumn Storm, nice and colorful. New Yorker Salute Finale, mix that in with something else, and that'll be a, a, a good combination. Mega Mojo and Military Demolition, good for early on in the show, I think. Aerial Avalanche, same deal, and Molten Core, put those towards the beginning of your show. Um, they're all okay in their own right, nothing amazing, but to, to whet everybody's appetite for the uh, start, they go, they work well. High Performance is uh, a Gucci product, and Gucci has awesome products as a whole, I think, but um, that one never ever looks good to me. I, every year I'm dead set against getting that. But there's so many 500 grammers this time that I said even if it sucks, you know, until it'll, uh, it'll get mixed in, it'll get lost in the shuffle, and nobody will really care. So uh, I can't lose with that one. So we'll we'll see how it is. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe in person it'll be amazing. Untamed Retribution is um, one of their oldest ones, but I've never tried it. We'll give it a shot this year. So Silver Bullet and Crypt Keeper from Big, good pieces. 
Fandemonium, just my favorite 500 grammer that Fandom, Phantom offers. Uh, always finale based. I mean, I guess you could start off a show with it and really get the people's uh, excitement up, but that's what this was for last year. Our final piece, which was Fear in My Enemy's Eyes from Big. Um, takes two people to lift and uh, or carry comfortably. And this was what we started the show with last year. And um, Fandemonium, which had been my favorite, took a back seat after I saw this last year. The video of it didn't look that great, but this is what I'm trying to impress that, you know, I'm trying a lot of things that don't look great in the video, and this one really showed me exactly why I shouldn't, uh, I don't want to say judge a book by its cover, but this thing was amazing, and it should be for the price. But we started the show with that, and I mean, if that didn't get everybody going, then nothing will. Thinking about possibly leaving that till later in the show, mixing it in with the finale this year, but if you can spend the $250 that big that this costs, um, I don't know that it's worth $250, but it's worth a lot of money. So that's the uh, that's the stash this year. It's probably not a whole lot bigger than last year. It may even be, it may be smaller, but I, I feel like we got more, uh, more expensive stuff this year. Perhaps I'm wrong. Anyways, um, again, I'll post the finale if it turns out to be anything uh, worth seeing, which I'm sure it will be. I'm not intending to do a, a subpar finale. And uh, as usual, um, I don't care if anybody subscribes. Apparently, I have a bunch of subscribers, and I'm kind of surprised at that. But whatever, subscribe if you want. I don't, nah, I don't get hooked on those numbers. Uh, and otherwise, other than that, everybody just uh, hopefully you got your stash already and you're enjoying your stuff. And uh, a couple weeks, have a blast, literally. All right, until uh, until the next video gets posted.